Hello, Puppet community. My name is Dominic Egger, and I run the Global DevOps practice at Splunk. And today we're going to be talking about how our team at Splunk uses DevOps methodologies to help streamline our automation strategies, work on application deployment, as well as building demo environments and workshops so we can show customers on how to use the Splunk platform. So let's talk about how our teams are actually using DevOps methodologies and automation to ultimately help us succeed in how do we actually deploy apps, provide demo environments, as well as build workshops. And by doing this, let me go ahead and go through each one of the stages that our team has really focused on and how we actually take a data-driven approach to make decisions based on the information we're collecting. On the screen you'll see here is really kind of an example of how we see the dev lifecycle and how this entire application stack can be linked together using the Splunk platform that helps us not only understand how we actually did our deployments, but then ultimately how the customers are interacting with our products. One of the things you'll note on this is we really are focused on doing proper planning, proper code development, proper testing, and then also proper uh, monitoring metrics. And within this, we really wanna focus on specific KPIs so that as we're doing our deployments, we can actually see what the end result of it looks like so that our team can respond to changes and complaints that may be coming in and we can actually go look back in time to see what actually happened. So when you look at the visibility around the dev tool chain, you can see that we've categorized every single aspect of it. So we have plan, code, build, config, test, stage, release, and monitor. But that really is how we see the dev lifecycle and how we want to do our automation. In each one of these stages, we're using very specific tool sets to provide guidance and feedback as we're collecting it so that when we're doing our deployments, we can see the end user experience as well as understanding how the business is reacting to the changes we've made. Now, overall, when I look at how these specific things come together, we have a complete visibility of everything that's going on in our environment. So we have a combination not just of the dev platform, but we're also looking at IT operations, security, and business analytics. And so a great example is when we're actually deploying our Splunk Essentials, we want to make sure that as we're deploying it, we can actually very streamline, do deployments, uh, build artifacts, and then ultimately when it gets published, we can get that feedback from the customers so that if we notice anything wrong within the applications, we can get back telemetry and actually change it and push out new updates. Now, what's really important about this is we're not just focused as a dev team to basically just provide application support. We want to basically get the whole understanding of how this is impacting our business. And so when you look at kind of how we take the platform and instrument all these specific metrics together, we want to basically build a end-to-end -end picture for every single one of the uh, markets that we actually work in. And at every stage, we want to take a look at how this affects our developers and how do we actually make sure that they are happy with the total output of the work they've done. Now, as we get a little bit deeper in this, we do take a very analytical approach in how we actually build DevOps and automation together. And you'll see that a lot of different things actually play into this. We're taking that same framework, but we're building KPIs to determine how we're effectively building something as a team and how our customers respond to it. So what's really important when you think about it, we want to basically understand how long it takes us to deliver an application, the processing time as we build applications or demo or workshops, the, the speed of the build, uh, remediation time from the time something is reported as broken to the time we can fix it, and then ultimately how does it affect our bottom line revenue. Um, so based on the metrics that we collect, we can see that if customers are actually using it, not using it, and then ultimately helping us build additional use cases out of it. Now, when we think about the business impact of it is, it's really kind of stringing all the different business units together. So we're taking a look at the total amount of changes within our environment by automating all these different stages. So let's go and look at the business operations, for example. You'll see that business operations cares about the ability to deliver, process the time of the actual work that's being done, uh, remediation of bugs that we've actually introduced in the environment and how do we respond to customer requests, uptime availability, 
We want to make sure that the application is usable at any given point. And then also, what customer satisfaction is related to this so that we can actually provide better use cases and provide a way of customers to see how we actually use our platform. Now, as we get a little bit deeper into this, we also kind of streamline how developers actually want to use these data points and helping them understand how this is all stitched together. So you'll see right here that as developers, we're really concerned about the number of um, code commits that we've done, how many different uh, release intervals do we have to go through in specific sprints, what does our code quality look like from a period to period perspective? And then also, are we using a lot of resources for, on the customer side? And is it comparable to when customers deploy in their environments? The next thing to look at is we want to make sure that our security teams are aware of what we've done. So we've actually documented what we've actually fixed in our environment, provided in the commit logs so that they can easily go into those dashboards and take a look at the unplanned work that we potentially had to do and if it actually impacted the security score of that environment. They want to take a look at the code volume changes, how many lines of code did we add in the specific release, and does it relate to anything that we've pulled from open source packages or is it something we built internally? How many times do we have to manually build it? Was this something that we had to uh, focus a lot of time and energy into? And is this something they may need to look at to see if we've actually made any changes that may, may or not be secure or not? And then also, as we get a little bit deeper into this and we do find vulnerabilities and patch them, did we provide the uh, appropriate remediation time? How did that actual uh, access rate of that application work? And then ultimately, what was our response time to that specific environment? Now the next thing, uh, as we kind of look at this, is looking at how operations plays in the fact of this. Because we have to utilize resources, we want to make sure that we can share those same details that we just showed with security and provide the same metrics so that they can make a determination if this is ready to deploy into an active customer environment. Now, this is very pertinent when we build workshops and demos because it provides a way for our customers to not only see how we built these demos, but also to provide what they can actually do within their own existing environments. And so that is a total piece of how our team looks at everything that's going on. And because we share all these different uh, markets together, we want to make sure that every single person that works on this team, even if they're indirectly involved, we can actually share the details and provide a data-driven approach to show that because we did, did certain things in a certain way, that we provided a way to look at how the specific code release or the specific workshop has gone, and so that they can learn from our mistakes so that they can educate the field or educate other engineering groups and actually implement those changes within their environments. And so ultimately, we're trying to build better code quality. We're looking at how to actually accelerate root cause analysis. We want to build proactive monitoring into the way that we deploy things. Um, we want to actually provide uh, easy ways of deploying this within a cloud environment and troubleshooting based on that. And then also getting that end user experience uh, so that we can actually bring everything together. And because we're able to do this, we've actually looked at multiple different verticals that we can align to so that when a customer un wants to understand how we've done these uh, releases, that we can actually give them a viable way of looking at how we actually try to implement it within our own organization. As a team, we're really focused on deploying things very quickly and in a way that allows customers to get instant updates, instant results. Now you'll see that we also treat this as, as a way of actually answering questions. And as a company, we want to basically provide insight in everything we do. So not only are we providing ways of deploying this application for a DevOps tool chain or container monitoring or even security, we're also looking at how these specific groups can work together. So you'll see that we can actually focus on IT operations, application performance analytics, security and compliance, business analytics, and even IoT. And as we build more use cases around this, we really focus on how to bring this all together so that we get a better outcome specifically in these environments. Now, when we think about the outcome of all these specific things, like you said, we've improved the speed of deployments. We've looked at the quality impact of these specific environments. But how does that ultimately help us uh, improve our actual development experience? One of the things we've gotten out of this by taking a data-driven approach, we're able to accelerate how we deliver our software. And so it's really important when we're actually trying to make on-demand changes for uh, customers that want to see specific environments, um, as well as building workshops around that so we can teach them how to do it. But ultimately, we want to accelerate so that we're not wasting our time reinventing tool every single time when a new request comes in. 
we ultimately want to improve the application qualities of this environment. So as we're actually deploying this, we want to see what is the end result look like if we have a failure with the environment. We're going to get proactive monitoring as it's being deployed. And if a customer or even a field uh, representative of Splunk is using these demo environments or applications, we can actually get instant telemetry back so that we can see what we need to fix and push it out very quickly. And then when we think about how we actually look at it, it how it actually affects our business, we want to take a look at a continuous improvement model. So we want to take the telemetry that we've taken a look at of how long we deployed something and has it affected how our customers actually use our integrations or our demos. And ultimately, how does that come together so that we have a positive experience and we can answer questions when the uh, situations come up. Now, we want to basically improve that speed and quality impact within this environment, but without actually getting that data, we won't be able to do that. And so our team is really focusing on how do we actually rapidly provide these data points from a KPI perspective, build it for multiple different verticals, and actually deliver it in a way that we can actually help customers see how things are actually coming together. We're also improving our application qualities. So we're actually scoring ourselves based on net prom uh, promoter score and actually feeding that data into the process so that we can see how we felt as a team, how did the deployment go, how long it took, and then tying it together to build a net promoter score so that we can actually kind of benchmark the way that we do things. And then ultimately, um, were there actually feedback from customers and how did it actually get put together as a whole? We wanna make sure that customers get a better uh, feeling for how we actually do things. We wanna loop that feedback into our business units so that we can get additional resources, but then ultimately bringing a full holistic view into how we do things. And really, it comes down to understanding how we actually educate our customers. So Splunk from a platform perspective is really focused on helping teams collaborate, troubleshoot, and sharing knowledge across the whole organization. And from a public community perspective, we really are trying to figure out how to actually scale our integrations with Puppet in a more effective manner, providing feedback, not only from our internal teams, but bringing customer feedback in so we can build a better product as a whole. And as we build these processes and new development tool sets, we want to make sure that we provide a open ecosystem and an open platform so that anyone can actually take the benefit of using what we've done and how we've actually done deployments. And ultimately, we want to basically be agnostic across any platform. So regardless of what technology stack you use, that you can actually get real-time insight into this without actually having to focus too much time and energy in rebuilding the process. And ultimately, you know, if you're looking for something else within this environment, we're also looking into how we actually build better service intelligence. So moving into an IT service intelligence platform, um, providing uh, KPIs and service scores so that we can actually see the health of an application as we're deploying it. We're building more collaboration troubleshooting techniques. We're building uh, new use cases so that customers can take a look at how we bring these things together. We're building another aspect of chat op integrations using our Victor Ops uh, platform and actually helping customers communicate better. We want to show you how to do application telemetry using our mobile intelligence platform and bringing all those specific metrics into your hands so that you can see what's going on and how it's being, how your application is being used. And ultimately, we want to help you build a security posture and secure development platform so that you can actually deliver intelligence within your DevOps tool chain and provide that feedback to the whole business so that they can actually get a better understanding of what's going on in your environment. And ultimately, we wanna help you build better teams. And as we're actually deploying a new mechanism, a new strategy, we wanna help you learn how to do that so you don't have to go through the growing pains like we did. Thank you, Puppet community, for uh, listening to this lightning talk, and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed recording it. Thank you very much.